you are looking at the bottom of my <laughs> Sigma X80. It's supposed to be 80 through 6 meter antenna. It, that is no, it won't do it. And other people have commented in the past about this. But anyway, what you are looking at is where the onion, onion is on this thing, which helps match up the antenna. This isn't supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be rated for 400 watts, okay? And it's had 100 watts put into it. And I took the bottom off, and you could tell where it has gotten hot. So I am very disgusted with this antenna. So once we get moved, I mean, you can see the outline of the ferrite cord right there where the un, -un was, all right? Yeah. <laughs> this antenna from 30 through 6 meters is good, okay? Positive wire that goes up, that hooks up right there. The negative wire, that, I'm going to cut them loose from the un, -un and get me a LDG 9 to 1, external one. And once I get set up, I want to put the positive to the positive side of the ballum and um, and then the ground to a radio plate and run me a bunch of ground radios and bypass this, this crap right here all together. And hopefully I get a decent 30 through 6 meter vertical. But this thing, this just pisses me off, okay? You know? I guess you're not supposed to run uh, digital modes with this bling, bling antenna. So anyhow, instead of replacing this stupid thing, I'm just going to do away with it and go with a heavier duty one. And that way I can run... Jesus. Run me some ground radials and set it up like a true ground mounted vertical. Well, I just want to show you this. This is that Sigma X80 vertical i've had it works good and like i said on 30 through 6 it works really good i made a contact this morning to guam and all of a sudden the antenna goes <clears throat> it wasn't teeny it wouldn't do crap and there you go so beware if you buy one they're a decent antenna for what they are but um yeah you just have to be careful with it even if you upgrade uh, to the heavier duty un, un that's supposed to be a KW, I've heard people comment that still they've had them to burn up like this. So this is inexcusable in my book. But I guess it's what you get. If nothing else, I got some good aluminum to <laughs> make me a Yagi or uh, Delta Loop or something out of. So I got this problem and also got, hopefully it's just a power cord on my Yezu 450. Well, it's working fine now it, it don't want to come on i was moving things around in the shack and hooked it back up and the stupid radio won't come back on and i got looking at where it plugs in the back of radio and i think uh, i gotta get a power cord but i found one brand new for 17 dollars, so that's not bad if that fixes it all right guys take care 73 beware if you buy one of these x80 verticals from sigma just letting you know this thing was babied and this right here happened to me. And I'm not the only one it's happened to, according to the comments. So, be warned. All right, take care.